So um, let's try this coordination compound. So um, if you want to, you can look at those tables that you have in your book. They can help you out. But um, remember, when we're naming coordination compounds, uh, first we put the ligand, OK? So um, the ligand in this case is the carbon monoxide molecule. But um, it's got a special name. So the, the carbon monoxide, of course, is an uh, uncharged ligand. OK? So you've got to remember that. And for those uncharged ligands, we usually don't change their names. But carbon monoxide is one of those weird ones where we change it to a carbonyl. Okay, so um, let's, and since there's four of them, right, we're going to put a prefix of tetra. So tetra carbonyl. And then we put the metal atom, which is nickel. And then we write its oxidation state in parentheses. So the name of this compound is tetracarbonyl nickel zero. So how did I know that the um, oxidation state of nickel was zero? Because the ligands don't have any charge, and there's no charge here. Okay. So since the whole complex is uncharged, the ligands are uncharged, and that must mean the atom, the metal atom itself, is uncharged. So the other thing is, is that a actually built this molecule. So hopefully you can see <clears throat> the nickel there in the middle. And you can see maybe the 90 degree angles between those bonds there. Okay, Kind of looks like a square arrangement, right? So we say this is a square planar coordination compound. Okay. So are there any questions on the shape, what it looks like, or the naming of it? Okay. So here, you can pass that around.